Hi there. So in this video, I'm just going to show you a bit about the label um, classes um, using this sort of battlefields layer I've got. Um, let's go into this one. Let's have a look. So uh, this is uh, 1643 battle in. So I think what I'll do is I'll do a couple of things. I'll create a label. Uh, that, that gives the sort of area um, calculation. I've done this area calculation in the previous, uh, that's in um, square kilometers um, in a previous video, but I, I'm gonna uh, label it with the actual sort of geometry so that as I edit it, you can see it and then I'll create some classes based on the year, uh, the century, sorry, the 1600s or not. So. What I mean by that is I did do the area sort of calculation before and you can see that uh, it was in a previous video and when I click you can see it's still in the pop-up because it's saved with the service so it's basically always there. Um, for the labeling, when you click on labels you can see you can just sort of turn them default on and off. Um, when you add a class, so that's your first sort of definition of, of, of a label and you can have lots in here, lots of definitions of labels and how they're classed, how they're classified. Um, so here on the drop down list you can just pick a field. Um, note it, it doesn't actually pick up attribute expressions um, which is, um, but I can, I can understand why because when you look at the label field here you have the expression builder there so you can recreate it so I can just effectively copy and paste what I've already done. So here I'm flooring, so I'm uh, to two decimal places. Uh, the current feature um, that we're of interest. Uh, I'm forcing square kilometers. You can put in uh, your text there and to two decimal places. And I'm concatenating. I'm adding on to the end plus square kilometer just so it sort of looks looks better. Um, so so I'll just call this area. Area um, km squared. It's good to give these um, sort of names, um, you know, because obviously you you want to uh, understand them when you go back to them later. Um, yeah, so click on expression and, and that, that's what it is. Um, and actually, uh, so now that I've done that, you can see on the on the map there that there it is. Now if I was to edit that, okay so you can see it's 2.11, let's edit, select and do this and update, you'll see the new calculation. So it's very much, uh, you know, it's a dynamic one because it's using geometry. So um, which may be of use to your, use to your application because you could have a user drawing things and you want to maybe test for this sort of limit of, of area uh, of that sort of thing or, or just confirm the area being drawn that sort of thing um, as they're drawing it so I can um, redo that and sort of position it back um, and do that update and there you go got a new calculation so but that's that's just a simple classification if I go back to label all I've got is that square kilometer calculation. What I'm actually interested in, for some reason, uh, is to show with a label, uh, with different labels, the battles that took place in 1600. So at the moment, everything is just drawn with these relatively default label styles. So um, let's click on that one. So that's 1642. 1644, 1469. So there's three there of, of, of uh, difference. Actually, there's a fourth down there. That's 1644. So the 1600s were definitely a busy time. So, but that's a point. I, I can. What I'm going to do is say I'm going to put a, a filter on what I'm drawing here. I don't want these labels to be drawn for anything that wasn't in the 1600s. So I can use this enable filter button, add expression. 
and say where the name does not contain the text 16 okay so that'll look now okay it's not the best of filters that's true I mean there's really it should be in a field and all this sort of thing and uh, etc but but it w works for what I'm talking about here because I know the data I know they write the data in like that um, so that's fine so as long as it doesn't contain the text 16 then I'm happy with it so have you noticed now that um, what's happened is that this one it, this must be 40 yeah so this is the 1469 so that one has drawn the label these others were from the 1600s so that they, they won't draw so what I'm also going to do is because I'm, I'm I'm only going to draw those labels when I'm sort of quite close in let's say okay actually that that distance so they'll draw there okay but as soon as they come out they'll disappear because I want the labels for the 1600 battles to stand out more so I'm going to do add label class so I'm going to put another class and I do the same sort of thing so I'm going to go where the name um, sorry what am I doing I'm putting the expression in so it's the same thing and, I'll, and I'm going to name this expression um, well, I, don't, I can name what I like really, it doesn't matter. And then um, the filter, add expression, this time is where name. And note when I, when, it, when, it, when you have is or whatever, it will present the list of values to you like that, which is handy because then you can have a quick look. You can have a quick look and see what's there. So I can see that, um, you know, those dates are at the end there. So now I'm going to say where the name contains the text 1600 basically the sort of reverse of the other and now look these have popped up straight away I want them to stand out more though so I'm going to change the style as well I'm going to make them red and I'm going to make them quite big actually okay also they're going to draw well they're going to draw basically at the world view anyway so these these red ones are going to draw first so I could you know I could uh, add a new line or whatever in 1600s but I'll just leave it at that at the moment uh, one thing to note is when you have you see it says label here you see and label there so what I could do is rename that and say and say non 1600s battles you see and then on this label down here rename 1600 Okay, so so we've we've we're clearly you know you know showing what it's almost metadata, isn't it? It's making it clear exactly what what these two labels are for. Um, and so, and if we just turn them all off, they'll all go. So what happens? What does that all mean? Well, if I zoom out, I'm going to get those red ones, and where they're red, they are battles in the 1600s. And and it could come up with any data of any field. You know, I could have the name, not just a square kilometer. Um, you know whatever field I've chose in the in the label expression um, I've just done square kilometer just show your function in action uh, and um, but as I zoom in eventually I'll get the other ones drawing because I've set a different label visibility for the non 1600 battles so these ones so there's one so it's not drawing it and there we go it's got it so that is what the 1400 or something yeah there you go Battle of Edgecut and then this one is 1601, which is Battle of Copperty Bridge. So um, there you go. There's a very it's a very quick thing there. Simple demonstration of labels. But the the, the key thing to remember that they, they are powerful, and um, you, you can put your, your uh, filters on there, um, which are which are great, and um, set various uh, drawing styles, and um, and of course the you know you know it's very easy to change the actual field in use i mean the non-1600 battles for example you know i mean sort of you could sort of just forget about all that and just have the name if that's so feature click um what is the name name there you go done so we do it like that so where it's the uh, one set of data i want to see the i'm interested in the geometry and the other just the sort of main 
and field in it the name and it's a different rule and they turn on and off at different times so i hope you find that useful thank you